all right so in this video we will take a look at real steady 2.0 and now it's a part of the GoPro player and I'll be sharing a few tips in order to get the app working properly because there are a few issues with real steady 2.0 and sometimes you might have some trouble getting it working and it can be fixed very easily and before we dive into the app let's just brief about what all improvements we have with real steady 2.0 so firstly if you have a GoPro Hero 8 or a 9 or a 10 and if you have hypersmooth enabled then you can still use real steady 2.0 and then stabilize the footage if you need that additional stabilization but if you have a camera like the hero 5 or even the gopro hero 5 session then you can still use real steady 2.0 and then stabilize your footage with the previous version of real steady the gopro hero 6 was the best in terms of stabilization and then followed by the gopro hero 8 black if you plan to use a hero 7 or a gopro 5 session then you will have to soft mount your camera on a fpv quad otherwise you will have trouble stabilizing the footage and it may not look very smooth and stable because i have a footage from my gopro hero 7 black on a fpv quad and the gyro data in the video was terrible so real steady couldn't stabilize that and when i tried that in the gopro player uh, even that couldn't stabilize the footage so make sure to soft mount your hero 7 or gopro session 5 and if you're using a gopro hero 8 black the best would be to use the gopro labs firmware because that has a few improvements so that way it works better with the fpv quad so it helps with the stabilization in the post so just keep that in mind and the reason i'm making this video is because uh, after using real study 2.0 i realized that it has a lot of improvements and it's and it's much better compared to the version 1 mainly because uh, when i render the footage it's a lot faster and it's exported very quickly and the quality is also quite good and unlike version 1 we have three formats while exporting so you can either export in cineform or hevc or h.264 i usually use the h.265 codec and i have the bitrate set to maximum so we'll take a look at that when we switch over to the computer so if you're using windows you will have to go to Microsoft Store and download the GoPro Player app and just search for GoPro Player and you should see GoPro Player plus Real Steady. I've already installed this and since I had already purchased Real Steady version 1, I got the activation code from GoPro. So install the software from here and then launch it. Now when you launch the app for the first time, you will have to activate the license and because I had purchased Real Steady One, GoPro sent me the activation code for this GoPro Player Plus Real Steady. If you're purchasing this for the first time, then you can do that. And if you have trouble like uh, the activation code is already in use or if there's any problem, you should contact GoPro support and they will help you out. So first let me open up a footage. So I'll click on open media. So here I have a few FPV clips. So I'll select the first one. Now on the bottom right corner, uh, you will see that there's this tiny camera icon and that's basically to toggle real steady on and off. So right now it's off. So if I play the footage, So here we have encountered the first problem and that's to do with the playback. So if you have trouble playing back the footage, what you can do is you can go to the settings tab and under the graphics device, select Intel. I have a NVIDIA GeForce graphics card on my laptop, but whenever the NVIDIA graphics card is selected, the app will simply struggle to play back the footage and it will just hang. So if I select Intel, I can play back the footage uh, easily so so that's one problem or a bug so whenever you have trouble playing back the footage 
simply make sure that you have selected the graphics card to Intel and maybe when this is fixed in the future uh, you can select the dedicated graphics card but for now we have to use the primary graphics card so I've selected that so then to toggle the real study on and off you can simply press Control and R or click on this camera icon and real study should be enabled and one thing that I like is we can switch between on and off as we are playing back the footage and I just crashed so let me open up another file and it seems that yeah so the app crashed so I'll launch it again again making sure that the graphics is set to Intel so I don't know why this is not saved because every time we launch the app it's always selected to the dedicated graphics card and it never works with that I think GoPro should fix that all right so if you want to trim the footage you can click on the scissor icon over here and then single click to begin the start point and then you can drag the timeline so let's say if I want to trim the footage here and just use the highlighted part in blue I can click on the scissor icon to mark the end point and then I'll click on this check mark icon and we can either create an export or create a new trim document so if I click on export trim we have the export settings page so like I mentioned earlier we have three options in the codec so the first is Cineform so basically the bitrate is extremely high so Cineform is recommended if you want to color grade the footage or if you want to get the maximum data from the video especially if you are editing it for a very professional purpose so you can use Cineform for that if you select Cineform then you can select the quality or the bitrate value the app recommends you select this to high but if you want like super high bitrate you can also select film scan 1 and 2 HEVC format is the best I believe because the file size is relatively small and the quality is also quite good the only problem that you might have is your hardware should support HEVC playback and encoding because many devices struggle to playback HEVC file format so depending on what hardware your computer has uh, find out if HEVC format is supported if it does I would highly recommend you select the HEVC format and then we have H.264 which is a very common codec and, and almost all media devices can play back the footage so irrespective of which codec you choose make sure that you select the bitrate to maximum just to get the best out of the footage and then in the resolution settings as of now we cannot upscale the footage or increase the resolution size but we can scale it down so right now it's in 2.7k 16 by 9 format if I want I can scale it down but why would I do that so it'd be nice if we can upscale this to like 4k just for the sake of it and here we have two options so uh, you can enable hardware encoding so recommended for high-end graphics card this might be disabled by default but you can enable this and see if the app works for you I usually have this enabled and I have no problems and here if you want to make some changes to the real steady settings uh, you can do that from here as well but I would recommend you avoid making changes during the export settings always make sure to adjust your settings from the controls tab on the bottom right corner so here you can basically enable horizon leveling so depending on how well you have captured the footage before stabilizing 
horizon level might work or it may not work. For example, if I apply horizon leveling to this footage, and play back the clip. It's managed to apply the leveling, but it's not that great. So for this particular footage, I won't be using the horizon leveling. And I usually don't use this. So all of these settings, you can leave it to default. and They always work quite well. If you feel like adjusting the lens correction, then you can try that. So you can either increase it or decrease it and just play around with the settings. For me, the default settings are perfect and they always work well. So once I apply the stabilization, or if I have to trim the footage, I do that or I simply export the whole clip and save it. If you want to export a frame grab or a still image, you can click on this uh, you can click on this icon beside the scissor so it will extract a frame now the next thing that i like about real steady plus copro player is uh, we have the ability to export multiple clips or the batch export so if i click on file we can send this to the queue And the app has crashed so once again setting the graphics card settings to intel stabilization is enabled i'll i'll add this to the queue and it's crashed again so anyways the batch exporter is not working i just updated the app before making this video and in the previous version, I was able to add up to three clips and, and the batch exporter feature was working. But I guess with the update, there has been some problem. Maybe GoPro will fix that. Who knows? So once the exporting is finished, we will take a side by side look of the raw footage and the stabilized footage. And I'll show you guys a couple of examples.